Hey guys, Project Zodiac here, and I'm doing this handheld just because um, it's just easier right now. I am so excited because one of my all-time favorite musicians finally just released a new song, and this new song is from his upcoming fifth album. This musician is called Ben Howard, and it's just, I just, his music resonates so much with me. Um, so I'm trying to keep it a little bit more up. But I just heard this new song, and I also just pre-ordered the new album, which has an awful cover. I don't like that cover. I'm just being honest. Uh, I, I can kind of understand where he's going with that cover, but if he wanted that balloon face in there, there's been so many pictures that he has released just today alone that has him holding that pic that balloon face and those pictures are actually really good he should have just went with some of those as the cover or even the single cover um itself is actually pretty good too but not as good as the ones with him in it holding the balloon anyway um i just wanted to do a very quick review on this particular song because it's the first new ben howard song in a while now and it's not too long, um, and of course the band released, um, you know, uh, music through a blaze of feathers, so it's not like we haven't heard anything from the band, but still, I'm just super excited, and this song in particular is really, really good. I'm going to stop rambling, because I do have a lot of things I got to get done, um, so I'm just going to go straight into this review. Um, so this song, it's, it's different. It definitely does feel like it's a... Um, a mixture of a couple of his other songs. It feels like it's a mixture of what the moon does because there's like little shimmering sounds in it and it also does feel like it's a mixture of what a day um, a little bit with how he's singing. It also makes me think a little bit about Conrad uh, but then there's a little bit more of an upbeatness to it that's very very similar to some of the songs he he played during Every Kingdom. So it does feel like you can definitely see hints of all of his previous work, which is amazing. But then there's definitely something that's so different about this particular um, song. And honestly, this differentness, uh, th this different aspect of it, it feels very distorted. Almost like you're like fading in and out and like just suddenly coming back and then coming out. And then like thinking about one thing, but then thinking about another thing super quickly. Um, so it just really just hits you and you're just like, okay, wait, okay. And then another section is like, oh, okay. So it, it's definitely really, really, really captivating in that way. I definitely don't think though that this is one of his best songs, but it's a very fun song. It's definitely one of his, uh, it, it's, I don't want to say it's one of his most fun songs, but it's definitely up there and like maybe top 10 or 15 of his most fun songs again keyword there is fun not best um but yeah it's just fun it's very bubbly it's almost cartoony in a way and it kind of fits the aesthetic of the giant balloon head and it also kind of fits the aesthetic as well of the um the the little finger not finger like ball and legs cartoon that is actually on the single cover um which i'm doing as the thumbnail here um i'm putting that as the thumbnail and just writing review on it so uh yeah it, it does definitely have that vibe to it and it's also very summery in a way which is pretty cool like i like that it's summer because you know it's about to be spring i mean technically it, it is spring but where i am it's always cold so um yeah so it's gonna be spring um and you know flowers are starting to grow out i'm just looking out my window and seeing the trees starting to grow their leaves so it's perfect release for right now and i think it was just done pretty pretty good it's a very good song and i'm super excited for the new album again that like take a look at that that's daughter's new album now put <laughs> ben howard's new um uh, album over there it's definitely going to be creepy especially the red version i don't know why for the special store they had a red background instead of the regular blue one for the vinyl um because like you can get the black vinyl it's going to be with the actual blue background on the cover but the colored one 
it's going to be with a red background and it makes it look even more terrifying than it actually is um so yeah that's going to be interesting but i'm just super excited for this album we got 10 new songs coming out uh this is the first one out of the 10 um and it's also like the first one in the track list as well so i, I like it when it's like that because then instead of like being in the middle that we're getting all of this it's just like here's the very first song and it just makes more sense for me like that uh, but yeah overall i loved this song it's so fun and the lyrics as well is the last thing i kind of want to talk about um it really just talks about kind of being distorted in your mind and you not really knowing what to do and like you're trying to do something but you're kind of like all over the place um and the way that Ben sings in this song is again similar to how he sings in What Are They and a couple of his other songs from his last album uh but it does also have some undertones of like Conrad and some of his other songs from Every Kingdom as well but instrumentally it does sound like it's a mixture of Noonday Dream and Collections of the Whiteout for, for this particular song at least um and then with its own new thing as well but yeah in terms of the lyrics um it, the way that he sings it also makes you feel like that distortion as well so he does a fantastic job not just with the lyrics which the lyrics is amazing as always but also just with the distortion way of like he's saying one thing and then like i don't know where he says something totally unrelated and it, it adds to that distortion so the lyrics are written really well in that way too and i think it was just done pretty good um and it's really interesting and I actually feel really bad for him because apparently um, reading the bio on the, the new website, uh, unfortunately, and I, again, I feel bad for him, um, Ben suffered a stroke last year. Um, it seems like it was on his head, I think, from what I understood correctly. I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, either way, he kind of suffered a stroke and he couldn't really think clearly. He was literally just sitting on his garden um and he was like all distorted and all of that and um and then a month later he had a second one and then you know and that was in so the first one was in march and then in april um of 2022 and then i guess in june he spent like a month like through so i guess throughout all of may he's he was just in the hospital because it says he stayed a month in the hospital like going to the hospital and doing tests and everything came out negative but i guess thankfully um, and I guess he had like a blood clot um, based off of what he wrote on the bio. Um, so I hope because he kept going to the hospital for that month that he was able to take care of that. Uh, but yeah, even the doctors were kind of confused. So I just hope he's okay right now. Uh, but that that what he was talking about, he, he did say that that whole feeling and it was kind of influential on a lot of things with this album. Um, I don't think it was the biggest influence, but it was a, an important big influence, but not the one single influence, I don't think. Uh, but when you know that, and then you actually, and I'm just looking at my computer over there because I still have it up because I just finished listening it to, to it like the third time. Um, you l look at the, the lyrics to it and you really hear the song and the way he's talking and you're like, oh crap, I guess this song in particular is about that that situation and how he felt um so it's you know in a way like ben's music can always be personal but he does it in a it's not always super clear when he's being personal or not a few times it is um but a lot of times it's not so this one though is one of those where like you if you don't know the story you're not really gonna realize it but then when you know the story you're like oh crap <laughs> so this one's pretty personal but yeah, I like this song a lot. It's very fun. Again, um, I, I would give it maybe like a 6.5 or like a 7 out of 10. Um, it's just a fun, bubbly song. It, it's just amazing. So I'm super excited for the new album as a whole. But all right, it's been 10 minutes. I wanted this to be done in like five, six minutes at the most. So hope you guys enjoy your day. And yeah, like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later. And I will be reviewing that album when it is released. Um, I'm not going to be doing uh, single reviews for every band I like. This is just a very special occasion because this is a band I that means a lot to me. Um, Daft Punk also just released a song. Um, I like, 
you know, for their 10th anniversary of one of my all-time favorite albums. Except I'm not going to review that one, I don't think. I just wanted to do this. Just, I don't know. Just kind of wanted to. So for the Ben Howard things, I will be doing a uh, review for all of the singles he releases for this album. And then I'll do an actual album review as well. So with all that said, guys, rate, come subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.